Hugely respected English auctioneer Jonathan Darcy has many great industry tales to tell and he sold plenty of million dollar yearlings. But as we recap the 2024 English chairman sale, there's something about this auction that he finds truly unique. Say hello, say hello, say hello ladies and gentlemen. Yes, 50, I said I'm going to that's 600,000 to one million. Oh, good, no, no. That's the one that we need. That's the one that we need. That's the one that we need. What do you say? Uh, at 1,700,000, to be fair, the mayor has had a time. I'm going to sell a left. Much calmer than I am. 2.9. 3 million. Jonathan, congratulations on a fabulous English chairman's sale. And it really is a unique sale. What is it that you see that's so special about selling here at Riverside under the stars, well, some of the stars, and with the stars in the ring? Look, it, it is. I think what you say is right. It's very unique. Um, look, I've been lucky enough to go over to America and see the Fasic Tipton sale, which is quite similar to this. It's a very um, specialised catalogue. Uh, and this is something that we've been putting together now for seven or eight years. And I think you know, tonight was just you know, a verification of how this, this market works. Some very, very nice mares that we were supported with, some outstanding race fillies, and I think they were the star of the show tonight. But I think to, to gather you know, five or 600 of the, the leading breeders in the country, we had representatives from Ireland and France and America and um, New Zealand here buying, uh, and also plenty of people on the phone. I'm sure we'll discuss. She goes for 3.4 billion. Coolmore's done. Well, she's extreme, the top seller. $3.4 million to Coolmore. We know what a wonderful Group 1 winning two-year-old and Oaks winner at three. But the, the scenes were fantastic. It means so much to the people that have sold her, that have raced her, to see a horse sell for that much. Well, that's right. I mean, she gave them enormous thrills on the racetrack, and we've known for some time that she was coming here. Uh, Newgate did an unbelievable job in getting her ready for the sale, doing a really good promotional video for her. Um, she was for sale the moment she stepped in the ring. So that always adds that little bit of excitement too, to see who, who bids on her. And as you would have seen uh, during the coverage, there were six, seven individual players. And then you know, to, to see the, you know, the, the heavy hitters come out and I think she made her money. I think you know, it was just a, a lovely way to see a, a top class mare now go on to the next stage of her life. So, two to the meter, but three point two million. Resolute Racing Boys, thank you Mr John Stewart. Then we saw the bidding duel, the very last lot of the evening. Tudor Levita, the beautiful daughter of the autumn sun. And we saw Coolmore as the underbidder. She sold for 3.2 million to John Stewart of Resolute Racing. And some great scenes there. Of course, he's really wanting to get into the Australian market and has a ready-made Queensland Oaks winner all going well. Just brilliant, Caroline. I think what was unique about this particular filly was, you know, she's only been entered for the last three weeks. So uh, Kevin Payne, who's a very, very strong supporter of England, he buys a lot of his good horses here of course he's got Estriella uh, you know aiming for the uh, the Everest later in the year um, but he just wanted to free up some money obviously he's got um, he's bought some nice yearlings in the last couple of years and here in this mare he's had a great time with her she didn't win the group one for him but I think she can go and win a group one interesting to note so those people following on social media this filly was coming and going from the sale so she was at Chris, Chris Waller's stable she'd work on Tuesday morning then she'd come here for six or seven hours be paraded goes back to, to Chris Waller's overnight so I mean she She's in full work and she races in about 10 days time. Yeah, it's exceptional and uh, great to hear from John Stewart as well after the sale. It's fantastic to get in with a horse that is a ready-made racehorse and will obviously be a broodmare in the future, but to get in with a horse that can race in your colours so soon. Yeah, no, it's exciting. It's something that we were looking at. Uh, we think it's, um, you know, a good partnership. We met Chris when we were uh, in Australia and uh, knowing that he's training the horse uh, you know, and, and how he feels about the horse uh, was, um, you know, one of the reasons that we decided to, to buy her. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here she is, here is Kamochi. Kamochi was a great story too. $2.2 million for Yulong. We saw Will Ball in the underbidder for Kieran Maher, unfortunately beaten, but great to see Yulong bidding. And of course, they also bought Penny Weaker, the Jewel Oaks winner by Satino Aladdin, for $1.7 million, going to Lord Canaloa's son, Panther Lassa. So this is fascinating too, to see Yulong buying for these new stallions. Absolutely. Uh, look, I think there's every chance that they might race on for a little while. Um, obviously, Mayor, like uh, Kamochi, you know, she's a, she's a group 
one winner, uh, Group One winner in waiting. You know, being Group One place three or four times. Uh, and once again, you know, she was a filly that we sold as a weanling for thirty-two thousand. Leo Toy uh, raced her with great success. He's a great supporter. But you know, Leo's you know aware that you know a mare of that value needs to be supported. You know, with the leading stallions and everything else. So he took the opportunity to to market her, and he was thrilled with the price he achieved here. And with Penny Wacker, you know, Jim Wallace and Mary and and his brother and a whole heap of um, friends raced her. Jim trained her. Jim's been a lifelong friend of mine. I've known him for 35 years. And to have Jim here uh, with his family, that was really special. And that's a little bit what the Chairman's is like. We had, you know, not, not with some of the, the huge mayors, but with some of the syndicated mayors, we had, you know, great ownership here tonight and they were celebrating. And, you know, I think it's just a nice way to finish that, um, that career for some of the race fillies to be sold as brood mayors here and they get to celebrate with them. And then we saw, of course, a great scene. Star Tontes, the Tats Tiara winner, uh, $1.15 million, um, bought by Widden Stud. But great to see Rob Heathcote and the whole team out here. He had so many great owners really enjoying that sale. And dear old Neville Begg, 93 years old, he bought Yao Chin for $3,000, the mother of, of course, Written By, but also Say Majik. She sold for $1.7 million to Coolmore with Yulong as the underbidder. So wonderful human stories about these horses too. Absolutely. And look, that's that's what we really celebrate uh, on, on Chairman's Night because you know, Star Tontes and Extremis, the other mayor that uh, Rob Heathcote sent down for us to sell, they would have had 25 people in one of our gallery suites and there's been some footage on social media. You can see them every time you know, Extremis was getting a bid from 300 to 350. As, a, as the bids went up, they were cheering and, and clinking glasses and I've spoken to a few of them after the sale. And they're just, they actually said they were so pleased to be involved with the sale tonight. So, And that's what it's about. Mr Begg, he's, uh, he's he sold a couple of mares here previously. Look, the reserve was nothing like that. He's he's very um, you know keen to see it go on and have success for another you know another entity. But you know he's he's one of um, you know racing's gentlemen. So to get that result for him and for the Beg family, that was great. Yeah, overall though, uh, wrapping up, I mean just a, a very successful evening. I guess you know there are always some horses that might not sell. There are pass ins and, and so forth. But but you know the excitement about this sale, that's what makes it so great. It is. Look, I think everyone who attends a chairman sales walks away with a smile on their face because it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun to be involved with the build-ups great and look the mayors that passed in you know there a lot of them uh, were probably you know some of the mayors that had a few foals and were in foal to expensive service fees and we understand that breeders are looking at the opportunity to take that you know, mare home and get the, fo the foal out and maybe sell it as weaning or yearling in the future so look um, they, they reserve that right we're very happy to work with them hopefully we get to sell the progeny in future but you know to you know, I think some huge results tonight and I think it's a sale that you know everyone aspires to be at